All right, let's say we dive in with another reading from The Secret Language of Birthdays Book by Gary Goldschneider and Yus Elfers for May 29th, the day of Quicksilver. We got us a picture of a, of a feather there in the book. That's right. Quicksilver, yes. Hey, is it your birthday and it's May 29th? Well, if it is, happy birthday. And if this video is finding you long after that day has passed, well, I hope you had a happy birthday. And for everyone else who's just joining us out of curiosity, I just want to extend a warm welcome and uh, say I hope you enjoy yourself. All right, let's dive in. Your month is May, your day the 29th. Your sign is 7 to 9 degrees Gemini. Your period, Gemini 1 specifically, and your element and qualities is mutable air. May 29th, the day of Quicksilver. Major themes in the lives of May 29 people include revelation, tradition, and the exchange of ideas. Drawn to dramatic situations and happenings, these are not individuals likely to shrink from struggle or submit to injustice. Upholders or revelers in the truth as they see it, they will lend themselves to causes and work for organizations whose destiny they can have a hand in shaping. As employers, parents, or administrators, May 29 people seek consensus rather than dictate and have a talent for taking the best from suggestions and criticism. Although May 29 people are often committed to bettering the lives of others and, in fact, may be called altruistic, they never forget their own interests either, and those born on this day have a way of balancing the two and indeed see no contradiction between helping others and fulfilling their own needs. Because of their combative tendencies, those born on this day may need to develop a greater capacity to avoid confrontation when possible. On the other hand, there are cases in which repressed aggression within individuals may actually bear, bring it to bear on them. For this reason, May 29 people should not suppress aggressive feelings of anger, but rather find a socially acceptable way to express them and perhaps in competitive sports or verbal repartee of a playful nature. In general, May 29 people must beware of neglecting their emotions by placing too much emphasis on their typical mercurial mind power. May 29 people often see themselves as defenders of the faith, preservers of tradition, an important function of theirs is in re-examining established traditions in a realistic and modern light. And they do not necessarily place great worth on money or possessions, but curiously enough may attract these very things without trying. Having an audience is extremely important for those born on this day. The audience can be their colleagues or employees in business, those serving under them in social or military group, or their families. If deprived of these outlets, May 29 people will suffer acute frustration. Quickness of thought is characteristic of May 29 people, and they value wit, charm, and humor. They especially admire verbal acts such as conversation and debate, whether they themselves are adept practitioners or not. Although verbal and mental powers seem to dominate the personalities of this day, physical urges must be expressed. And May 29 people who have suffered disability through accident or illness fight to overcome the, their deficiencies and overcompensate. Although those born on May 29 are highly directive and active, they may be at their best when guiding events around them gently, perhaps even allowing things to unfold of themselves. All right, let's move on to those born on this day. But don't click away too quickly yet. You can just skip ahead in the chapters to your numbers and planets, tarot, and health and advice, etc. But I find it important to dive in on those born on this day so we know what company May 29 people are in. All right, we have John F. Kennedy, the U.S. president and the youngest, the first Roman Catholic. He's also a Massachusetts senator and Pulitzer Prize winning writer of Profiles in Courage. He faced down Soviet Union in the Cuban Missile Crisis and was assassinated in Dallas. We have Patrick Henry, an American patriot and orator. Give me liberty or give me death, is what he said. 
Oswald Spangler was a German political philosopher. The decline of the West is what he wrote. Bob Hope, a comedian, film actor. Annette Bening, film actress. And we have Josef von Sternberg, Austrian-Jewish, American film director of The Blue Angel and Shanghai. Express. We have Paul R. Ehrlich, uh, let's see here, ecologist and a population biologist. He wrote The Population Bomb. We have Lazario Cardenas, who's a Mexican statesman. We have Tony Zale, two time world middleweight boxing champion, and he held the crown for seven years. Sarah, Duchess of Marlborough, a British 17th, 18th century aristocrat. T.H. White, a British Arthurian writer, and was the sword in the stone, is what he wrote. Isaac Albaniz, a Spanish composer and a pianist. And we have Ionas Ziakis, who was a Greek composer and World War II freedom fighter. We have Al Unser Sr., an auto racer, four-time Indianapolis 500 winner, and a three-time USAC slash kart champion, and the younger brother of Bobby. We have Faye Vincent, a baseball commissioner, and a controversial decision maker, and resigned after no confidence votes by club owners. We have Latoya Jackson, a writer and a Jackson family expose writer. We have Beatrice Lilly, who was a Canadian British comedian and lived to 95. Charles II, a British king. Uh, Pearl Lang, a choreographer dancer. And John Hinckley, a would be Reagan assassin and a mental patient, it says. All right, let's move on to your numbers and your planets. Those born on the 29th of the day are ruled by the number 2. That's 2 plus 9 equals 11, and 1 plus 1 equals 2. And by the moon, since those ruled by the number 2 often make better co-workers and partners than leaders, the aggressiveness of May 29 people is somewhat softened, allowing them to better function within their family or work group. However, such tendencies may also act as a break on individual initiative and action producing frustration, especially since the moon's influence is strongly reflective and passive. The secondary number 11, 2 plus 9, indicates sensitivity for the physical plane, balancing well with the mercurial mental tendencies of Gemini, as well as a possible interest in coincidences, symmetry, twins, and doubles of various kinds. Moving on to your tarot. The second card of the Major Arcana is the Priestess. Shown seated on her throne, calm and impenetrable, she is a spiritual woman who revels hidden forces and secrets, empowering us with that knowledge. The favorable qualities of this card are silence, intuition, reserve, and discretion, whereas negative values are secretiveness, mistrust, indifference, and inertia. And the latter two rarely displayed on May 29th people except toward causes other than their own. And let's move on to your health. May 29 people must be particularly careful when approaching situations in which they may be physically harmed. Learning to protect themselves is important since they sometimes have an unrealistic attitude toward danger and illness. They should remember that fear can also be a useful warning just as pain is a signal of distress from the body. Talking about their problems helps May 29 people feel more human, so therapy with a psychologist or social worker may prove invaluable. The grounding influence of three regular meals each day is healthy for May 29 people, as long as they take care to engage in moderate exercise and avoid gaining weight. And here's some advice. Don't be afraid to seek help, sharing your problems with others. You do not have to be perfect. Learn to protect yourself against external danger. Take fewer risks. Control your chauvinism as far as personal likes and dislikes are concerned. And here is your meditation. The tyrant and the murderer are temporarily insane in their denial of the right to live. All right, here are your strengths and your weaknesses. <laughs> You're committed, protective, and expressive. And your weaknesses, you're repressed, one track, 
and combative. Your season is spring, your sign is Gemini, the Gemini 1 period specifically, and your element qualities is mutable air. And this has been May 29th, the day of Quicksilver, from The Secret Language of Birthdays book by Gary Goldschneider and Yu Stelfers. I have a affiliate link down in the description for this book. Uh, you know, just support the channel, or if you want the book, give it a click, shop through there, bro. That'll help me out and help out the channel. But in any event, this book has sold more than a million copies for a reason, so it is a lively addition to your coffee table or your library in general. And it's going to get the party started if you want to break it out during an event when you have folks over. And you just need to get that conversation started. Let me tell you, this will do it. For better or worse, it will do it. <laughs> in any event, hey, was it your birthday today? If it was, happy birthday. And once again, for all those of you just joining us uh, out of curiosity, I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I hope to see you back here for your birthday reading. All right, take care of yourselves.